Good day guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. In my last video tutorial, I talk about how to use combo box in Excel, the ultimate guide. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to insert radio button in Excel. Okay, radio button in Excel, also known as option button in Excel, and it is available in the developer menu tab in the insert option right here okay the radio button can be used for a zdz and also for vba macro radio button is used when we have multiple options to select and out of them selecting one option is allowed this is quite used when filling online forms where we have a list of options and only one can be selected for radio button to work, it needs to be connected or linked with a cell in the worksheet. Okay, radio button do not allow you to select multiple selection. That is when there are multiple radio buttons in a group. The, the only the only one of the radio buttons in that group can be what selected at a time. Okay, now let's dive into how to add developer tab containing radio button option in in a z ribbon okay if you don't find developer tab in a z you can enable or hard developer tab by following the step i'm going to show you right here okay now what you need to do is that just right click on any of the existing tab in the ribbon here where where options appear and in in that select customize the ribbon now it opens the excel options dialog box under the customize ribbon main tab option just select the developer tab right here okay you can see it it's in my own case it has been checked because i've already activated it right here so after you after you check it mark okay now then click on what okay to apply the changes okay now the developer tab appears as one of the wall the tab in your ribbon once you have done the above several that I just to do now okay so apart from the radio port radio or option button various other interactive tools can be seen in the developer tab which you can see it right here these are all the interactive tools which compose the the developer tab options okay now let's dive into how to insert insert radio button or option button in the z now radio button in the in the z is very simple and easy to create let us understand the working of the radio button in the z by some example okay now firstly we need to add group box through form control option now group boxes are rectangular objects with optional label where you can update the title of group box based on your choice okay the main purpose of adding a group box is to visually organize related items on a form and it is used to connect a set of options button to one another and enclose them in a group box control on the worksheet okay now in other words group box can be added to the sheet if you follow the step i'm going to show you now so let's do that right in on the z ribbon just click on the developer tab okay you can see just have it a click so now once done that a list appear okay so just click on the insert option a drop down list appears in the uh, drop appears in the form control select group box you can see right there, just click on it now once you activate that just click on the excel worksheet okay just click on the excel worksheet okay so i'm going to click do that now you can see so once you do that a, a default name is going to show in your own case it will show group box one okay now just drag over the caption 
test okay just drag over the caption text in the group box to select it and type a new caption of your choice for group box name okay yeah i i will type month okay i will type month okay i will type month okay yeah after formatting the text and removal of the grid grid line it appears like this you can see on the screen now you can check change the group box size okay you can change the group box size here from square to rectangle okay so rectangle should based on your choice by dragging the corners of the what of the in uh, corners in and out you can see you also can do whatever whatever you like okay now after the above step you can now add the radio or option button inside the group box now let's add the radio or option button inside the group box created on the screen okay in the Excel developer tab just click on what insert so so once you click on insert so you have form control mm -hmm. you have form control section and the active x control two box appear in the drop down in the drop down under the insert section in the form control right up up here just select the option and uh, the option button right here okay just select you can see when i hover it it's you see option button right here just just click on it to activate it now once you select the option button command your mouse cursor changes to a cross hash and move the mouse to the cell where you want the radio button to be inserted okay now so i'm going to put it here okay so i'm going to put it here okay you can see so just put it anywhere you, you think so now you can apply the option button anywhere in the month okay month group bay and uh, boss based on your choice and number of option you want to add in in this month group box okay you can now modify modify or update the test hmm? name for each of the radio button by right click okay just right click and click on what on the cell by selecting the word the edit test option from the con contest menu now in my own case i'm going to use I'm going to post january okay let's let me use january because i'm going to use months as my word radio button inside it okay now so now note note please entire option button and its caption must be must be within the group box so adjust the group box size according to what to to according to it too okay don't write any radio button any button outside the world this group box so you have to be you have to write it inside the world the group box like okay now option button as name itself as well as its name is a subject or indicate to create more option or radio button okay now in, what we need to do that need, what you need to do now is that we can now copy he, this radio button into another cell right here you can copy it right here but you can use ctrl d to copy or you can use ctrl c to copy um also use ctrl v to what to paste okay you can see here so i can rename i can rename this as what february okay you can name it as what February. Okay, so you can see here I have created two radio buttons. Okay, under the month section, which is what the January and what February. Now, the step is to link the uh, the option box to a cell. Note, note that the main feature of an option button in a cell is that other sh others should get deselected automatically when we select one okay 
others to get selected when we select one now the question is how can we get to know which one is selected okay and moreover i should be able to record the response or result of it of his selection made between the world the two options for this to happen we need to link the option button with a specific cell based on your choice where the sequence number of the option button or result of the option in a Z is displayed okay and we can use this number as response or result of our selection now to link this option option button with the Z just right click on the the january button here just right click okay right click on the on the january option button and go to format control now once you do that in the format control dialog box under the control tab right here you can see under the control tab write the address the of the cell based on your choice and or and select it the cell link and click on what okay okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on here now i want the cell to be linked on what cell a4 okay what let me let me link it to cell a5 okay now so i can now click on what okay okay you can see here the general option is linked to cell a5 right here you can see in the same sheet note you can link to another cell of this of the different sheet also to record a response now the value of the cell h5 cell value get changed to either one or two according according to or based on the option button selection in the wall in the exe if you observe when you click on one of the box let's say i click on what February, you can see in the group box the option person number will appear in the link will, as two in the cell H5. Similarly, if you select January, hmm, January option, the value change was one. However, we can create another group box within the same worksheet. Okay, okay, let's do, let me create another group box. Okay, by going to the developer tab, just navigate to the developer tab, then click on the insert option. First, firstly, create what as I said earlier, just create a group, a uh, group box for so now. So, once we just create a group box first, so once you do that, then name it so I can name this one as country let me name it as country okay name it as countries i want to create group box for countries okay so now once you do that so after this i can now create an option bot inside this group box so the process is just go to your developer tab click on option menu right here and click on what this particular radio button option so here i'm going to i can put it i can put the option button as what well. let's see i can let's say i want i want the country to be here to be on in uk or usa okay usa so then i can name this i can create another one here name oh let me just copy instead of doing that let me just copy and paste okay copy can paste okay you can edit this and you can put uk okay sorry copy and paste control v then let me call this one canada okay so i can adjust the box here in order to fit into the world into the world group box okay you can adjust it right here you can see just adjust it too now i can now link all this radio button to a particular cell here thank you and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel as i'll keep giving you more of the exact options bye
and stay blessed.